Um, welcome everyone. Shigenori is going to be talking about duality of hook type W superalgebras via convolution operations. Feel free to start whenever you're ready. Okay, so thank you very much for invitations. Uh, today I would like to talk about the duality of hook type W superalgebras. At the level of algebra, uh, it is proven by Thomas and Andy. And now I want to uh, talk uh, its continuation to some representation theoretic things. Okay, so let me start with what is a triality of principal W algebras. Uh, that is uh, two dualities among uh, principal W algebras. One is a fagin frankel duality, and the other one is the gkl coset construction, which appeared in the unitary model, unitary module constructions of uh, uh, Virazoro vertex algebra. The second uh, example is uh, W algebra for SL3, and it is generated by two primary fields with this uh, data. And it looks a bit awful, but the important thing here is that uh, the central charge has a, oh, sorry, a very symmetric uh, uh, expressions. And this is how the uh, Fagin Fagin Frankel duality appears here. And this uh, naive uh, involutions of central charge uh, is actually gives us an uh, isomorphism at the level of vertex algebra because uh, this W3 uh, fields uh, is completely determined by the other uh, OPEs. Uh, that is, uh, it is uniquely determined by the central charge. Uh, so it gives us a uh, desired isomorphism at the level of vertex algebra. And uh, this kind of uh, uniqueness theorem for uh, principal W algebras or more larger class of vertex algebra gives rise to the triality phenomena of uh, W algebras. Uh, so let me start with other types of dualities. And the first case is uh, conjectured by Fagan Semikato around 20 years ago, uh, which is a triality among the subregular W algebra of type A and uh, principal W algebra of uh, Lee super algebra SLN slash one and its coset uh, by the Heisenberg vertex algebra for W algebra and uh, the maximal affine coset for the affine vertex super algebra. But the relations of the levels uh, look the same. The uh, very beginning example of this series is exactly comes from uh, the Hazama Suzuki coset constructions of n equal to super conformal algebra, which is the principal uh, principal W algebra for SL two slash one. And in this case, uh, this n equal to super conformal algebra is uh, realized inside a fine SL two times uh, one beta. Uh, one BC systems uh, together with diagonal Heisenberg coset. Then uh, we take further one uh, Heisenberg coset, we will get the Fagin Frankel type duality uh, for this pair of uh, vertex algebras. And actually, uh, this kind of uh, triality is, is systematically uh, found by uh, Guyot and Lapchak about five years ago as a symmetry of boundary conditions of 4D gauge theory, and they generalize to uh, W superalgebras of certain type uh, based on physics argument. Uh, typically, uh, this kind of triality is uh, depicted in this diagram, uh, which is which uh, says that we impose three gauge group here and uh, talk to each other by certain boundary conditions here. And this boundary condition has a certain uh, symmetry of PSL to Z. And we use this order three elements, then we just uh, flip or uh, rotate uh, these boundary conditions. Then the vertex algebra appearing at the 2D boundary at the corner should be preserved. Uh, this kind of uh, argument is used by Gayot and Lavchuk uh, to obtain the triality phenomena of a larger class of uh, W algebras. So mathematically, uh, uh, these uh, W algebras 
are called Fook type W superalgebras. For type A, uh, uh, the vertex algebra appearing at the corner is the affine coset of this kind of uh, 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 W superalgebras of type A. Why is it is called Fook type is because that the important elements uh, is corresponding to the Fook type uh, uh, partitions here. And in this case, uh, the uh, is uh, the maxima affine coset in this case, which is the affine vertex algebra of GRN. And we take the coset for these two W algebras, then it should be isomorphic. Why are uh, this kind of uh, hook type W algebra uh, important uh, or distinguished is that uh, it's because that if we take the if we specify the new potent element uh, by the principal one inside certain uh, Lie subalgebra and takes its uh, centralizer, then the original uh, Lie algebra decomposing into very, very uh, uh, easy way. And this is how uh, we also see the also symplectic cases. Uh, to state more precisely, we have uh, four more uh, principal, uh, sorry, a uh, four more series of W super algebras lying in a uh, BCD O cases corresponding to the uh, uh, D type here. And, and uh, we have, so let me first say that uh, they enjoy certain uh, dualities. That is the D2 overfold now of the uh, maxima affine coset uh, will be isomorphic. And this uh, two pairs uh, goes to this one and this one and certain uh, crossing terms here. And let me uh, say a bit, little bit more on uh, the uh, notation here, uh, today here. So uh, we have uh, three parameters here. Uh, type B means that we have a type B Li subalgebra inside uh, the resulting uh, W superalgebras. And N and M uh, correspond to the uh, length of the original Li algebra and the Li subalgebra for which we take the uh, principal important element. Then uh, they have a very distinguished family of strong generating uh, strong generators, and this gives us the uh, isomorphism for the affine cosets. And I want to, uh, in this talk, I want to talk about uh, what we can uh, say about the representation theory of these two pairs of uh, W superalgebras. And a uh, prototype in this direction is actually the Kazama Suzuki coset construction of n equal to super conformal algebra, uh, which is uh, more precisely to state that we have this kind of isomorphism and G plus and G minus, which is the unique generators of odd fields uh, corresponding to the uh, strong generator, uh, in weak generator for Super side, uh, non super side, uh, dressed by uh, odd fields coming from BC systems. And actually, we have an inverse construction for uh, uh, these realizations of n equal to super conform algebra, which is affine SO2 can be realized inside n equal to super conform algebra times the a negative different lattice, which is the opposite of BC systems. And these two constructions can be further uh, improved uh, to construct uh, modules by coset constructions. And this gives us a, a broker-wise equivalence of representation categories. 
So this is a prototype to get uh, a representation theoretic uh, consequence of the uh, Fagin Frenkel type duality. Thus, and I want to uh, do this kind of things for higher rank cases. Let me uh, rephrase what the corset functors looks like. So uh, the point here is that we always dress certain uh, lattice VOAs and take the Heisen diagonal Heisenberg corset. This means that if we decompose uh, these two vertex algebra in terms of Heisenberg and its corset, then the procedure for the corset construction just uh, manipulating the uh, Fock modules and it doesn't say anything about its corset modules. So, uh, so these two pair of uh, vertex algebras has a very a similar description that uh, in terms of the Heisenberg corset, it looks the same, uh, but the Fock module looks a, a little bit different. This difference coming from the uh, difference of the norms of the Heisenberg algebra inside it. The corset construction, uh, the essence of the corset construction is that uh, tensor product of Heisenberg corset Heisenberg vertex algebra and take the diagonal corset, then we will again get the Heisenberg vertex algebra, which is perpendicular to the uh, diagonal embedding. Uh, but the problem here is that if we uh, naively generalize this one, we will get higher spin uh, fields as a uh, GKO corset construction of general GLN in, uh, sets. So this kind of corset construction looks uh, uh, not so good for higher rank cases. So I want to rephrase these corset functors in some way. And there is one nice tool, which is called relative semi infinite homology factor, uh, which behaves quite nicely for all deductive Lie algebra. So it's a, 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 a meaningful a homology factor uh, of loop algebra. And relative means that relative to the Heisen, uh, horizontal algebra of G. The statement uh, by Igor Frankel, Gal, and Zuckerman says that if we take the tensor product of two uh, value modules and take the relative semi homology uh, for diagonal actions, then uh, the homology almost get uh, zero, except for the uh, trace functions uh, when uh, these two wide modules are dual to each other. And furthermore, we have certain uh, duality relations for the level itself, where the, this, uh, where the relative semi homology is well defined. So why it is useful is that uh, uh, the problem is to interchange this Fock module by these ones. So we just plug this module here, and we just take the dual ones uh, so that we get to be uh, zero, or at the most one dimensional. And we just add uh, uh, the opposite side of Fock module here. So we take the tensor product here of this one and take, the, uh, take uh, this kind of uh, tensor product of Fock modules then we will get the other side of Fock modules. And I will repeat this procedure for all uh, Fock modules inside it. So I will take uh, to get uh, n equal two from uh, a finite SL2, we just kill uh, the Fock module for SL2 by its job one here. And uh, I Paired it with the opposite side here, and take the uh, uh, diagonal, uh, sorry, uh, diagonal uh, relative semi heat homology for uh, this side and this side, then we will get this one. And I can do the same thing for the opposite side. The uh, surprising feature of this construction is that 
uh, this uh, bunch of fork modules is a, a disk is of lattice VOA times rank one Heisenberg vertex algebra, uh, uh, which appeared in the corset constructions. And actually, we can uh, prove uh, we can say that this construction actually uh, reconstruct the opposite side of what W super algebras. So this is a toy model uh, for our reconstruction theorem of uh, W super algebras themselves. So let's uh, continue the same game to see what these gluing objects look like. So for example, in type C duality, uh, we have uh, two also symplectic type W algebras, whatever. And the point is that we have two, uh, the uh, of vital module corresponding to the same real algebra SP2N. And we just uh, replace this uh, a level by its gel ones and tensor it the opposite side. So this is, uh, kind of universal procedure to get the gluing objects. And surprisingly, uh, they are speciali specializations of the universal family, uh, which is parameterized by uh, these uh, gluing conditions. So uh, we can ask that something happens for these gluing relations, uh, all, uh, 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 even integer cases. And actually, we find that the growing level zero is realized as the algebra of chiral differential operators. So uh, let me remind you uh, what is uh, this chiral differential operators in the easiest example. That is the uh, GL1 case. So it's a chiralization of uh, differential operators over the original D, uh, D group GL1. Uh, by depressing the function space by its jet schemes functions. And we use uh, the differential operators by its loop algebra. In this case, uh, the generators is uh, X and X inverse, which is a function over GL1 and its derivatives living in the jet schemes and, and the Heisenberg actions on it. And defining OPEs are uh, uh, stated like this. And why it looks like in the previous slide is that uh, we have a co two commuting actions coming from uh, left invariant vector fields and right invariant vector fields. So actually, the Peter Weil theorem for GL1 uh, is enhanced to the decompositions of CDOs in terms of uh, two uh, Heisenberg vertex algebra inside it. So the previous uh, decomposition here is uh, some shifted versions of uh, Peter wire theorems uh, in the classical setting. So how can we shift the chiral differential operators? Uh, so let me consider type ACD, where the group is GL, SP, or SO. And uh, in this case, uh, the CDO lies in the, uh, is a member of the uh, category, which is uh, uh, in the completions of two uh, Cajun Lustig categories of uh, whose uh, irreducible objects is just wire modules. And thanks to the Peter Weyer theorems, and these two levels are dual to each other. Then by using the cousin lustig correspondence, uh, it has a nice meaning in terms of uh, on the side of uh, quantum groups. Actually, we have a function space of G itself, and this is a Q deformed. That is, we will get the quantum coordinate link as a counterpart of CDO. And how we can uh, shift this original CDO is that we have a, a braided tensor equivalence for many uh, uh, quantum group categories. That is 
uh, which is established by Kajan Wenzel and Tsuba Wenzel uh, for type A and type uh, BCD case, which says that uh, if we interchange uh, the universal R matrix together with the parameter of the quantum group, then the category uh, will be shifted by, uh, twisted by abelian three cycles. Uh, then under this uh, twist, uh, the original quantum coordinate link will still give us a certain super commutative uh, associative algebra objects. So again, uh, pulling back through the Kajan Lustig correspondence, we will get the shifted versions of CDOs, which will be uh, vertex super algebras in general, uh, together with its shifted relations. In this way, uh, Moriwaki constructed a more a larger class of vert affine vertex algebra extensions, uh, which looks like uh, Peter Bio theorems in the classical setting. So it's a um, good ingredient for us to reconstruct uh, W super algebras, uh, which says that uh, to get the W super algebra from uh, non super algebras, we just tensor with shifted CDOs uh, whose Lie group is associated to the surviving uh, affine vertex algebra inside it. Then uh, we take the uh, diagonal uh, relative semi homology, we will recover the opposite side of W super algebras. So how we can prove, so this is the main statement of today's talk and let me quickly uh, sketch as a proof. So the ingredient, ingredient here is that we have the common uh, vertex, uh, high affine common, but, mm, com common affine corset inside it. Uh, this is this one and this one. I'm more neatly to say that this is the uh, affine corset algebras. And, and we have two uh, affine vertex algebras with different levels, which talk to each other by uh, these duality levels here. And uh, under this, uh, uh, vertex algebras, uh, this decomposing into the Peter Weyl type theorems for both sides. Uh, because we we have uh, uh, natural representations here, and it's dual here, which exhausts all the uh, highest weights for Peter Weyl theorems. The important thing is that uh, these two W super algebra has a uniqueness property as an extensions of uh, affine coset times affine plus uh, this uh, strong generators coming corresponding to the standard representation and its duals, uh, which is established by Thomas and Andy. So the uh, thing to prove is that uh, we also use the uh, similar uh, generators uh, coming from the CDO. And we just talk to each other. And this will be this one. And what we have to check is that it has a desired property of OPEs themselves, which gives us the reconstruction theorems, our characterizations of W super algebras. Uh, in this way, we have established this kind of reconstruction theorems. Uh, this uh, reconstruction theorem is quite nice because uh, we can uh, plug uh, plenty of modules uh, replacing uh, this original W algebras. And the uh, natural uh, input, natural class of modules to input is that uh, uh, it's a bunch of direct sums of value module uh, for this uh, affine vertex subalgebra. 
so let 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 us call this class of modules the Cartesian rustic categories. Then we just uh, we can uh, mimic the same constructions to get the functors between these two uh, Cartesian rustic categories. And moreover, if we have an intertwinal for one side, uh, then uh, just using the intertwinals for the shifted CDOs, we will get uh, uh, intertwinals uh, for the opposite side of W super algebras. This means that we have a functorial homomorphism between the intertwining operator spaces. And our conjecture says that uh, these functors are actually equivalents of categories and indeed quasi inverse to each other. And this is the same for the space functorial homomorphism for uh, inter spaces of intertwiners. And uh, we have proven this statement for the uh, original Fagin semiquartal uh, settings. Uh, with uh, Thomas, Naoki, and Bio Sato. So uh, this, uh, uh, even if we haven't established that uh, this is an equivalence, still by construction, we have uh, these two functors are uh, exact functors. Uh, and especially all the higher cohomology will be vanished. This means that, for example, we can compare the uh, characters. So let, let me uh, do this uh, in the type A cases. The natural uh, class of module inside uh, the category is Wakimoto representations for these guys, uh, which is defined through a certain embedding of W algebra inside uh, Prefit algebra times uh, surviving or affine, affine vertex algebra appearing in the mirror map. Then we will get a, a representation called Wakimoto representation labeled by the highest weights for uh, the deductive Lie algebra of this guy. Then uh, we get a character formula uh, like this. Uh, which says that Waki, the character of Wakimoto modules has a very common shape here and dressed by uh, sure functions coming from the character for the top side here. Uh, the surprising feature here is that if we take the cohomology and calculate uh, the, uh, its characters, then we will again get the common shape a shape here, which is not, not a surprise, but uh, the original Shua functions uh, has a, uh, evaluations in a very neat way. And actually, uh, this specialization is called uh, principal specializations of Shua functions. And the classical theorem says that it has a hook content formula, uh, which is a product form. So, and I haven't understand why it should have a product form, but from our uh, perspectives, uh, it coming from, uh, it is uh, clearly explained that this is uh, 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 one of the, one part of the uh, module of super algebras. And, and we can also have a nice, uh, play a nice game uh, for the easiest case. So uh, let me start uh, with Wakimoto resolutions of the original uh, vacuum modules. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, this show functions uh, is realized as elementary symmetric functions. And this resolution uh, can be seen as a categorifications of a uh, 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 binomial identity or the defining equations for the elementary symmetric functions. And if we compute uh, apply the uh, 
a relative semi-heat cohomology functor, we will get the resolution for the supersite. And up to the same common factor, uh, this uh, binomial identity is shifted or modified to the Q binomial identity. Why this Q appears is that uh, we have a change of conformal shift uh, from this one. So uh, if we go from su non superside to superside, uh, the conformal weights for the strong generators coming from natural representations uh, is shifted by Q, a square of Q. And this uh, is responsible for this shift of Qs uh, uh, in this elementary uh, symmetric functions. So in this way, our uh, uh, our exact factors between non-super W algebra to super algebra will give us a, a machine which uh, adding cues to classical identities coming appearing in the non-super side. So this is a nice play, and I want to uh, talk in the end uh, what we should expect for more detailed information on representation theory. And we have limited knowledge at this time, but we can uh, say a little bit more in the Fagin semi cutoff case, uh, because we have uh, plenty of uh, free field uh, representations. Uh, this Fagin semi cutoff case deal with subregular W algebra of type A, uh, principal W super algebra of SL n slash one. And in this case, we have a, a direct generalizations of Kazama Suzuki coset construction of n equal two, corresponding to the n equal two case and its inverse construction. The goal uh, in this last uh, topic is to explain the dictionary uh, at, the le at the generic levels uh, cost, uh, between various Wakimoto modules and Redux highest weight modules. So let me start uh, with the uh, easiest example, which is SL2 and N equal to super conformal algebra uh, studied by Fagin, Semikata, and Tipuni. In this case, we have dictionary between a fine Verma modules and the so-called topological Verma and Redux highest weight modules and uh, so-called massive Verma modules. So let me explain a little bit more, starting with a uh, non-super side. So we have uh, resolutions of uh, wide modules by affine Verma modules. And if we uh, apply the coset functor or relative semi heat cohomology functor, we will get a resolution of uh, one of the highest weight representations of n equal two side by certain modules. And if we compute uh, this uh, these modules, then we will find that it is a quotient of the uh, very naive Verma modules by uh, this one of the top spaces. And this naive Verma module is called a massive Verma in the literature. And Thinner um, Verma modules is called topological uh, Verma modules. So, uh, so this means that uh, uh, like a fine Verma module corresponding to a, a bit thin uh, module uh, than the naive Verma modules. So, how can we? So, next question is how can we get the naive Verma modules under this correspondence. So which is, should be a larger, a bit larger module than uh, the affine Verma module. Uh, so it should, because affine Verma module has a top space or a highest weight vector, uh, we, we have to replace it by some module. It does not have a highest weight vector. Uh, this is called a, uh, a weight modules in general and construct it in this way. So, so we have a, a induction from the commutative algebra, which is 
generated by Kashmir and Kaizen, uh, Kartan H uh, with specified eigenvalues and induced uh, by the enveloping algebra. Then the basis will be the multiple A's and itself and multiple F's. So it does not contain any highest or lowest vectors. So uh, it is quite slightly larger than the highest with the representations. And the, indeed, after we make an induction to the affine vertex algebra, uh, we will get uh, the counterpart for the uh, massive Verma modules. And uh, this kind of module is called relaxed high state module for non super side. So, next question is uh, do we have some resolutions by massive Verma modules for uh, simple modules? And it is a very subtle condition, and it depends on the choice of highest weight uh, irreduc irreducible modules uh, for which we want to take the resolutions. So one way to do this is use the Adamban Beach trick, uh, which is a embedding of affine SL2 uh, into Virazoro times certain free field uh, algebra, which is realized inside uh, these two copies of a lattice VOA in the diagonal part. Uh, under this embedding, we have uh, uh, families of module of affine SL2 uh, parameterized by the highest weight representations of Virazoro and a free field module for this guy uh, with shifted, uh, shifted uh, H, H0 actions. And if uh, these parameters are generic, then uh, this uh, construction recovers the uh, previous relax high risk weight modules uh, with a little bit complicated parameterizations. Why this construction is nice is that we can use the Fagin Fuchs resolutions of uh, Virazora modules, uh, which will give us uh, resolutions of. Uh, one of the uh, simple relax highest weight modules by this uh, quite big uh, module, relax highest weight modules. And if we apply and if we apply the coset factor, this will give us uh, resolutions of uh, generic highest weight representations by massive Verma modules. So, uh, uh, these two types of VAMA module has a, uh, will give us a resolutions of simple modules. So we, uh, they play a fundamental role in the representations category. So I want to uh, generalize these two class of module for uh, arbitrary type A subregular W algebra and uh, of course uh, its counterpart, which is the uh, type A principal W super algebra. The easiest guess for affine Verma module is to use Wakimoto modules, which is actually the control gradient dual of affine Verma module in the NICO, uh, affine SL2 case. And the definition is quite clear. And that is, we use the Wakimoto embedding, uh, Wakimoto representations of Subregular W algebra and use the uh, Fock module for the Heisenberg part. Then uh, uh, the BGG type resolutions of wire module uh, for affine vertex algebra uh, will give, uh, give us a reductions of, uh, uh, give us the resolutions of. Uh, its image of uh, the image of uh, wire module under BRST reduction by the Wakimoto representations. So taking the contract gradient zero again, uh, this is exactly the same as uh, the uh, resolutions of 
wire module by affine VAMA module in the affine SL2 case. So Wakimoto representations uh, is a counterpart, generalizations of affine VAMAs. Now uh, to get uh, a thing, uh, a VAMA module, uh, which is called topological VAMA module, uh, we just apply the uh, a relative semi fit cohomology factor to these resolutions. That is, uh, the corresponding uh, module should be the image of uh, Wakimoto modules. Yeah. And actually, this uh, this family of a module is again a bit thin, as this character formula says. Uh, this uh, means that we just uh, forget as a uh, prefactor and focus on how it looks like. Then uh, we have asymmet asymmetry for the first Qs here, which is one side is uh, half n shifted by half, and the other one is shifted by uh, three over two. So uh, the honest Burma module should be uh, more symmetric, uh, so this should be one. So uh, this is a little bit degenerate ones. So to get uh, the counterpart of massive Burma module, we have to uh, make a bigger module for these two guys. And actually for the super side, it is again uh, realized as Wakimoto modules, which is uh, defined through free field realizations or mirror maps of principal W algebra in this way. Uh, to summarize the relation of these two uh, three families of free field uh, modules, uh, we have this kind of diagrams. So first we start with the uh, Wakimoto module for the non super site, which is a tensor product of high Poc module times a uh, beta gamma systems. And then we will get uh, some modules, which I call thin Wakimoto modules, which is actually a sub modules of honest Wakimoto modules, which has uh, this decomposition rules. Uh, uh, to get a bigger algebra, we have to uh, make Wakimoto module for the non super size a little bit bigger. And this is realized by replacing beta gamma system uh, with uh, the previous lattice vertex algebra, uh, which uh, sits diagonally inside uh, two lattice with your A, Z, and negative definite lattice. And finally, uh, and actually, uh, uh, we can compare the uh, highest weight parameter for these two families of free field modules, and it looks quite nicely like this. And this kind of formula is actually uh, obtained for uh, the fagin frankel duality of principal W algebras. But we have, uh, we have a different lengths of Heisenberg vertex algebras. So we have some difference here. So how we can uh, improve uh, this difference is to in, is obtained by introducing the relaxed highest weight module for non super site and consider naive Burma module for super site. Uh, that, uh, to get this kind of relaxed highest weight module is replace using again the Adamovich embedding in the n equal, uh, sorry, affine SL2 case, uh, which is uh, which is in this setting is an embedding of subregular W algebra inside into principal W algebra times uh, this uh, free field uh, vertex algebra. And the relaxed highest weight modules is parameterized by central character for the principal W algebra and the shift 
or the modifications of the highest weights for this uh, free field representations. Uh, the non super the counterpart for the super side is <clears throat> just use uh, uh, just use the uh, 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 Verma module for principal double algebra appearing in the uh, first block of uh, SLN slash one. Then uh, we find that uh, uh, these two families of modules are related to each other up to spectral for twist with a very uh, clear uh, uh, correspondence for highest weights. And uh, this correspondence of highest weights actually uh, explains why uh, we should have a, a fagin frankel type duality for uh, vertex of W algebras and W super algebras of different ranks. Di uh, different ranks means that SLN with rank N minus one and SLN slash one of rank N. Why uh, uh, it should be desired is because the central character parameterize uh, certain weights for the all the diagonal weights here. And it is the same for this one. Uh, but uh, for the non, non super side, we have a parameterization for here, which coming from the par double parameterization here. And this uh, additional parameterizations, uh, sorry, uh, will responsible for the parameterization for the remaining odd cases here. And this central character here goes to this central character here for the uh, the first uh, SLN inside SLN slash one. So uh, these two double, uh, parameter, double parameterizations actually gives us a, a whole the central character for the larger uh, Cartan subalgebra inside of our SLN slash one. And I expect that this kind of uh, parameterization should hold for all uh, hook type W algebras. And I want to stop here today. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Can you stop the recording? <laughs>